we are going to do a postcard swap and I can want to come on here and sort of talk about what the plans are and what you've got to do to participate things like that um, first off this is going to be handmade postcards so uh, it it does not matter what you do whether you paint them this is a collage one with magazine images this has got some jelly prints on it oh that's some more jelly prints um, this is some book paper with some little images put on. Oh, there's a napkin on that one too. This one has a napkin over book paper. So it doesn't matter what you do as far as your art. Um, just something that you make. Uh, it doesn't have to be elaborate. It's just that I would like it to be a handmade card. Now, um, there's lots of, I was going to sneak down here. These, there's a couple down here that are a little more different. These are um, stenciled backgrounds with just an image on the top. So it doesn't matter what type of art you do as long as you make the card. The card needs to be four by six inches. And I will put this information in the description box as well, but uh, I, I want to, to talk about it. They will be four inches this way and six inches this way. Because we're going to bind them into a Fibsville um, postcard swap book, they need to be horizontal. This postcard is not going to go in this book very well because it's going to be odd when you bind it in. So I'm going to ask that everybody make their postcards horizontal, not vertical. Um, the dimension needs to be four by six. Now this came up today and these are rounded on the corners. And I will probably go ahead and use them and I will probably send them out. But I have found that if the card has square corners, they go through the machines a little better. I don't know exactly why, but in um, some of my um, travel postcards that I've done in the past, I had rounded the corners and they get chewed up a little bit worse than the square ones. I sent everything home this last trip with square corners. It is up to you, but do realize that if your swap partner does not receive a card, um, you might have to send out a second one. And that does happen. Um, all of the cards are going to be sent without envelopes. I, I want them to actually go through the mail as a postcard. So that means that um, when you turn it over, and I will just show you on this one. This is one I made last weekend in my um, live stream. And I'm going to be doing some more in the live stream. Now there's some paint on the back of it. I don't worry about that. But you're going to want to divide your card. And I usually... And I say usually, um, divide my card with a touch more on the left hand side. When you turn this card over, you want to have it visually right side up like that and then just turn it over this way. I'll show you why in a minute. So I'm going to divide this here like that. This is where my stamp belongs. I put my return address right here in very tiny letters. I put my return address up there. I'll tell you why, because this last time I got a card that uh, got tore completely in half and it got back to me because of that return address. But then I address it here. One of the things the store-bought postcards will say is 
for some reason this one doesn't, but a lot of them have a line at the bottom. They want a little bit of space at the bottom of the card left blank. So keep your address in this general area. Do write to your um, swap partner. Do send a little sentiment, send a little note. Um, make sure to sign it so that they know who it came from. A minute um i'm checking my um okay postcard stamps there there's a specific stamp for postcards it actually says right on it postcard and these are cheaper than a regular stamp if it if the card is four by six and not thick it will go for a postcard stamp and since we want them all to go through the mail, that's part of being mail art, um, we, we can use postcard stamps. Okay, um, your substrates can be uh, many things. This happens to be some photo paper that I got that is four by six. Got that at a thrift store, so it works real well. Your substrate can be some recycled cardboard. Don't get the substrate real, real heavy. When I go off on a trip, I cut up cardstock that is ready for me to turn into um, postcards. Uh, you can also use 12 by 12 sheets of scrapbook paper that you're not real happy with or it's not your style um, and you end up with six postcards I will be making postcards in my Sunday live streams just to give you ideas on how to make postcards um, you know I mean I'm sure that you all have lots of ideas already I need you to send me before June 10th, I need your information. I need a um, an ad email. I want you to email me the information. If you want to play, email address is down in the description box. I need you to send me your email, your address, and how many people you want to swap with. I'm going to tell you that I will swap with everyone. Who sends me a card if you send me a card I'll send you one back so uh, everybody that's on the list I'll be swapping with um, make sure all your cards for this swap are sent out by July 15th again these little notes will be in the description box so that you can um, refer to it without having to watch the video over again the reason for that is that uh, we are talking about at the end of this swap, we're going to take our Fibsville cards and turn them into a little book like my little postcard books. Uh, I have a couple already finished. I've been working on another one. Now, these are all postcard books that uh, have come from my trips. And I'm actually going to do a special live stream on, I wrote it down, August 2nd uh, will be a special live stream at 2 o'clock Central Time to bind these books together. Um, if you want to continue swapping postcards with other people in the um, Fibsville world, you can bind your book from front to back and leave the tail so you can add more to it if you want to later. Um, postcards have been uh, a very big mail art thing and there are actually groups that swap postcards all the time with other artists. Very much like the ATC things, but the fact that they go through the mail it makes the mail art in addition to being a postcard and being a swap. Um, 
this book, Griffin and Sabine, was written by Nick Bantock. And his um, original postcards are the artwork that was swapped back and forth between these two fictional characters. And this is a very interesting um, book and very interesting idea about a conversation that goes back and forth by mail between these people. So that's something you might want to take a peek at if you get a chance. I'm double checking. Um, okay, so to restate the, the rules, cards are to be four by six inches horizontally. They are to be sent through the mail, so make sure that they're, you know, they have enough substance that they can go through the mail. Um, They're sent without an envelope. Um, I need you to email me your address, your email, and how many people you want to swap with uh, by June 10th. I'm hopefully going to um, put the list together sooner than that and let people get started, but I really want to make sure that I allow for other people to find this video. Make sure all your cards are sent by July 15th. I need your info by June 10th. Cards sent by July 15th. That's a month and a half. No, that's a full month. The reason being is because on August 2nd, we're going to bind the book. I will be making postcards on Sundays. And please, 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 if I forgot something, please comment down below and ask me the question. Yes, we're going to divide our postcard just like a regular postcard is that you would buy. We're going to put our little stamp up here in the corner. We're going to write our little message over here. I usually put my return address right there and my addressee right there. Um, like I said, please, 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 if I forgot something, let me know down in the description box. And I'll pin the comments or make another note. Have a great day. I hope everybody wants to play. I think this is going to be a really fun swap. And I think it is going to be something that's a fun memento to have a little book of all of our Fibsville friends' artwork. Have a great day. Make some art. Bye-bye.